What's up guys, it's Christian here, and today I'll be telling you my predictions for the Liverpool vs Crystal Palace game at Selhurst Park on Monday night of the Premier League season, game week two. So, last season both games were extremely tight, 1-0 and 2-1, both going to Liverpool. Will that happen again? Pfft, no, come on. Actually, no, I'm just joking. It probably will not happen, but... We'll just say it won't because, you know, I'm a confident Liverpool fan and we're going to get three points comfortably. So, Crystal Palace 2 nothing against Fulham on the opening week of the season. Yes, 2 nothing looks really good for Crystal Palace, but in reality, they only had 34% possession and they gave up 15 shots and had um, six, tar six on target for Fulham. So, they're giving up a lot of shots to Fulham. And what, do you think they're just going to give up less to Liverpool? Yeah, that's funny. Um, Liverpool's going to score more goals and have more shots. That's just blatantly simple. Like, if Liverpool has 18 against West Ham, they're going to have more. Or the same amount. So, have fun, Crystal Palace. Your defense is going to get torched. Um, now, will they score? That's the real question because everyone considers our defense the problem. And I don't think so because Wilfred Zaha was shut down last season. And I think he's going to get shut down again. Only scored one goal against Fulham. And it was a dink past the keeper. He went to the keeper's right and he slotted in. But I don't really think Virgil van Dijk and Alexander-Arnold and Robertson and probably Joe Gomez are going to give up a goal. Allison's a good keeper. He's not going to give up a goal. That's just how it is. And I don't think he's really going to do much to us. So you're going to rely on Benteke. Townsend, like, you got rid of Loft his cheek, Loftus cheek already. Like, I just don't think they're going to score. That's just me. But you never know. You never know. And we also looked a lot better than Crystal Palace did in the opening week. Well, we killed West Ham. And West Ham and Crystal Palace are decently similar. They're probably going to finish in the same-ish spot in the table, probably between 12 and 10 maybe in that range that's probably my guess but you never know but if we can drive past west ham who looked to be a team that people had maybe being better than everton and they had Felipe anderson arnautovic mike Hill antonio uh they're just pretty sound they probably just didn't gel well and it was the first week so they haven't really got comfortable with each other but either way they're um, very similar to Crystal Palace, so hopefully we do the same thing. But you know, you never know, I guess. But and Crystal Palace is relying way too much on one player, while we can rely on three, four, five. Like, please, this—it's not going to be as easy as many people think. True, Liverpool versus Crystal Palace won't be the easiest game, but. I still think we're going to take three points. And not only is this game just important right now, it's going to be important in May, in April, because you know what? If Crystal Palace can beat us, so is going to be City. And if City can beat 5-1 against Huddersfield, oh, crap, we're going to be in trouble if we lose points early in the season especially, with Kevin De Bruyne out for City too. And that's just adding to sugarcoat it because if we drop points now or at all while City's winning games consistently, the title is going to be decided within the before even the season ends because we can't drop points and that's just the bottom line. If we drop points and City doesn't, we're in trouble because they're the team we're challenging. We're the, probably the most suited to win the league besides them. So, that's why we can't drop points against Crystal Palace, which we won't because, you know, Liverpool's just better than Crystal Palace by far. And that's why when we go back to there, we're going to get three points no matter what. And that's just my hope. So, not only did we look good in the first game, Crystal Palace didn't look as good as us. And Naby Keita looked fantastic. Shakiri when he came on. Look pretty good. Sturridge scores in less than 30 seconds. Like, on his first touch. On his first touch. Like, please. Like, that's just crazy. 
And if he can score off the bench, that just gives us even more options to score and win games. Now, the question is, who's partner for Virgil van Dijk? Because people say Lovren, but he's hurt. People say Clavin, but he's gone. People say Joe Gomez, and they think he's young and inexperienced. In my opinion, it's going to be Joe Gomez for the season because he's just young, athletic, and he's the best suited player to go alongside him. And then we have Andrew Robertson driving up the left side, Alexander Arner driving up the right side, and then getting the ball to Naby Keita, Fabinho, who will get his debut, hopefully. And Milner, Henderson, Wijnaldum, we have options. Don't get me wrong, we have options. So, if we can get the ball through Keita and help push to either the right backs, left backs, and then get it to the striker, left wing, right wing, and you know our big three, I expect us to score two or three goals against Crystal Palace. I don't care we're away, we're gonna score goals. That's just the bottom line. We don't not score goals. Like when's the last time we were goal scoreless in a Premier League game? I can't think of the day. I mean, we probably didn't score any goals in more than one or two games last year. Like, um, I actually might be wrong. Man City, uh, when Mane uh, Kung Fu kicked Ederson. Uh, if he's a better boxer, by the way. Um, yeah, so I just think we're going to win the game. What will the score be? Let's go with 3-1. I'll give one goal to Crystal Palace because, you know, I'm nice and we're not going to, you know, lose with those fans. And I'll give the goals to Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino, and Saudi Mane because I want Saudi Mane to win uh, Premier League Golden Boot, which he's an outside chance, even though probably people won't pick him. Anyway, we'll say Zaha gets the goal because Zaha is their best player. So this is what I think will happen in the Crystal Palace Liverpool game at Selhurst Park. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Just like, subscribe, and just give me any ideas you want for a video in the comments below as well.